So I was able to get, I think, 10 pages done this month. Let's start with Color Universe by Kirby Roseanne. This page was such a delight. I ended up using Arteza watercolors in the background, which came out really nice. I also used it on the rocks here, so if you see some blue and some gray colors I did there. And then these birds were inspired by robins. The only issue I did have though is I accidentally picked up the Artex coloring pencils and somehow I mixed them, but aside from that, I think it came out really, really decent. Second one, this one didn't turn out as I had planned. And I think the issue I had really was that I put so much energy in the backgrounds here that I forgot that I wanted to make these bluebirds. I think they came out pretty cute. I like that the red pops out a lot. And then by the time I had done this whole thing, I realized that yeah, I want to revisit this in the future to, to figure out a good background. I just can't think of anything I want to do. I thought about clouds, I thought about wood, and then I just, I kind of liked the way it looked. And so I just kept it like it is for now. And that is in Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford. The next one was actually a really quick color because I was able to use the Ohuhu markers and Artix coloring pencils. This one was a real delight to color. I just can't see enough kind things about everything about this art is just so much fun and I did add a, a purple color to do Vio, the violet um, planet that you might have seen in one of the coloring chronicles. I'll link it in the video description but the Vio planet has made a return. And I added some texture here, but aside from that, I did use a Altitude gel pins is what I used for some of the, the stars, the little dots that were around here. What a fun color. So that was an Enchanted Galaxies by Alexandra Zakara Chorus. The next one is from Dimensions. This one was such a delight to color. I ended up using the Ahuhu markers and then I went through with the liquid pearls to kind of give it a little bit of texture because the thing about markers, sometimes they kind of just look flat and I just wanted them to have a little bit of pop to them. That was a real fun color. I do want to release a video with me trying a hoo, hoo markers for the first time on this page and it actually encouraged me to do the the last coloring page with in enchanted galaxies because it just saved so much time to color the next page is from flower haiku by ellie marks it was just a delight to color i can't believe how adorable it came out i don't know if you can see the glistening of the rain what i loved about this was making that rain and then getting the the liquid pearls on top of the petals to make it look like they were kind of like the rain had hit them. And then I did use a pastel, oops, I, I didn't spray it, I didn't do a fixative. It's not really coming across to the other page that bad, but yeah, I did use pastels over here and then I blended this part in and then over here I didn't blend it in because I wanted it to look like rain was falling. I was astonished at how much fun this was to make the background because backgrounds are very intimidating at times, And but the liquid pearls surprised me on how well they did the rain. I'll be doing a coloring chronicle about that one in the future as well to show how I did that. The next one is in Botanicum. This is probably the most underwhelming of all of my colors this month. And the reason being is that so much ivy, I think when you have a pattern where it just keeps going and going and going, it can get a little boring. I added brick down here because the brick went up to here. Tried to do my best to make my own brick. And then I used fine liner underneath to make it them pop because oddly enough, the Castle Arts coloring pencils did not feel great on this page, which I was really, really sad because the Castle Arts does okay on like normal paper, like printer paper, and it came out okay. But it is my first page in Botanicum, so I can't wait to color more in this book. It's a beautiful book. The next page is from Tells from the Forest Kingdom from Hannah Carlson. This page was uh, another delight to color. This was colored with Derwent Chromaflow. I do feel like I've been enjoying using fine liner instead of to have things pop a little bit more. And I feel like this page could have had that, but it's okay. It did all right. I used Altitude gel pins and some acrylic pins here. I really like the blue 
throughout the whole thing. I did color in their eyes a little with a little bit of white and then I added my own eyes because I wanted the eyes to look expressive so I kind of changed the appearance. The next page is from Tells from Atlantis by Hannah Carlson. This is my first underwater scene and I had seen a lot of people color this in already and I kind of was, I wasn't intimidated more than I was like, I've seen a lot of beautiful ones. I mean, I loved the way a lot of people did it like Atlantis with all the turquoise and stuff. And then I've seen quite a few do the ruins style, kind of spooky. Yeah, I just wanted it to have real character and I think it came off pretty good. I used Altitude gel pens. I used a little bit of jelly rolls up in here with that. The background started off with Artex coloring pencils and then I realized that they were kind of scratchy. So then I brought in a couple of Prismacolor uh, Aquamarine and stuff to kind of make it a little bit more smooth. And then jelly rolls. These were really fun to put in here too. But this was a delight. I did it all in one sitting. I think I, I spent probably five hours on this. I think maybe six. Yeah, I can't believe I, I, I finally did an underwater scene and I really like the colors. You know me, my violets and my magentas. I didn't really color these in too well. I could have done more with these dolphins, but I wanted them to stand out. So I think they did fine. I do wish that the octopus was a little better too, <laughs> but I'll live with it. I think it's not bad for my first underwater series and I really love this book uh, for not being into underwater scenes. I really enjoyed this book so far. But the other one I finished, I showed it in the last completed pages. All I had to do was the earrings and the backdrop and I wanted the earrings to feel to not take over the scene because her hair already does. And so what happened was I started coloring this backdrop with a really beautiful midnight scene. And then the blender pen that I had for Prisma, it was like an actual blender pen from Prisma Color. It kind of like made it really bad. And so then I just went ahead and took Posca dark blue in the background and then I added dots. I know I could have done this better, but I think I was just trying to get it done <laughs> at that point. And that was early in this month. Um, you could kind of see some of this down here. It was kind of funky, but I think it came out all right. I really still love the liquid pearls on here. And the earrings, I think, came out pretty decent. Kind of uh, very classy, uh, historical kind of earrings. So that is from Tales from Atlantis. And then the last one, this one had a little bit of issues, but I still like the way it came out. I'll try to get a coloring chronicle for this one as well. I did record the real time issues for it, but I love the way the bunnies came out. I'm not into real cutesy stuff and I did enjoy this. And I think as I start coloring more, I would have never colored this type of page where it's like a paper doll kind of style, but I had so much fun playing with these beats. This suitcase was fun. The fox adored this coffee mug and the boots were cute. As for here, I kind of try to mirror the mama because that's it's the same one, but I kind of was horrified that he had, <laughs> I say horrified, I kind of was upset that he had like little flowers on his shirt because I thought mama bunny must have tried to dress him. So I made sure he looked kind of still masculine. <laughs> as possible for being daddy daddy bunny and then the cute little girl I wanted her to match her mama but I used Arteza brush pins down here on the globe and then I kind of had like the worst experience for my first snow globe I was really really upset about it too but I kind of got over it I kind of made it look like there was wind coming through here with it but I kind of just messed it up with the acrylics around here Overall, I think I did the best I could for what I could, and I did have a lot of fun with these gooseberries. It was perfect for something a little bit Easter related, and this is a wonderful book. I do want to continue to color it, so I'll put it on my active coloring book shelf. This was a really fun month of coloring. I hope your day is treating you well, and thanks for watching my completed pages.